Hey everyone, this is Graham Weeb, and today I'm going to be talking about teaching game mechanics in The Witness. The Witness is one of my favorite video games of all time. It's a puzzle game. There's a bunch of reasons to play it. Here's some of them right here. And basically the, the core is that you should really play this game, and I'm actually going to be spoiling the first 30 minutes of it, so if you want to make sure that you don't have anything spoiled for you, you might want to skip out on the next five minutes. But Almost 100% of the game is teaching the game mechanics, and it does this without ever presenting a tutorial uh, in front of you. It always is done organically and in just a really well-done way that allows you to discover the game's mechanics instead of just explicitly telling you these are what the rules are. So the game starts off with uh, teaching you about drawing the, um, the core mechanic of drawing these lines on these panels. You start at the big circle at the bottom and you go all the way up to the little nub up at the top. And when they try to teach you a new aspect of this mechanic, they generally put a few panels in a row like this to show uh, off the new mechanic. In this case, this is about collecting these dots. So you have to collect all of the dots in order for your line to be considered a valid answer. And here we've got a panel that shows a rule about symmetry. So when you draw on one side, uh, this is horizontal symmetry. So the other side is mirrored perfectly with the way that you draw your line. It's also got diagonal symmetry. And this vertical symmetry one here also has some of those dots there. So they're mixing those two mechanics together. And all of that is a bit of a preamble to this right here. And this is what I wanted to talk about because this is a set of six panels that is trying to actually teach something quite subtle and a subtle uh, aspect of the symmetry mechanic. So when we approach this panel, we approach from the right side. So we are coming in from the right. We uh, approach it from the right side. We see the rightmost panel is the one that's active. And when we solve that puzzle, the next puzzle over becomes active and it keeps going down until we've uh, filled out the entire panel, which looks like this. And the core mechanic that this is trying to teach is that when you are doing a symmetry puzzle, the line that you control is always the blue line and the symmetry line is always the yellow line. And so the first panel that they give you, this one right here, you cannot solve it any other way than starting on the left side. If you start on the right side, that puts the blue line there. And if you try to complete the puzzle that way, you get a nice uh, big red error uh, line saying you have to start over. And uh, when you approach this from the right side and it's the rightmost panel, chances are you're actually going to start on the right side and encounter this issue. Now, you could also start on the left side, at which point you continue going forward and you get to the second puzzle, which is also solvable on the left side. But then you hit a roadblock on this third puzzle here where you have to start on the right side of the puzzle. There's no other way around it. So if you've been um, establishing a habit of always starting your puzzle on the left side, this puzzle right here will stop you from uh, um, not learning about the mechanic. So you either find out about the mechanic in this uh, first puzzle here or the third puzzle here. And uh, at that point, unless you uh, were completely random, randomly picking back and forth, it is unlikely that you will have uh, not discovered this uh, subtlety at this point. And if it is the case that you have just randomed your way through it, there's three more puzzles to uh, stop you from uh, not learning the mechanic until until the end. So the likelihood of you solving all six of these puzzles before um, learning the mechanic is actually very, very low. And this is one of the things that I really, really like about The Witness is that at no point did it pop up with a text box saying, hey, you have to uh, control the blue line and that the yellow line is the mirrored line. It just engineered a situation where you are more likely to discover that rule for yourself. So the fact that it's not necessarily the difficulty of the puzzles, but the order in which they're presented, how they're presented, that is giving the best opportunity for the person to discover the mechanics on their own. And that's one of the things that I think The Witness does really, really well. So thank you very much.